Once inside, it's easy to get lost in the colors and the general bustle of the atmosphere of the market. But there are a couple things I want you to notice. First are the types of foods that I offer. And the one that stands out to me, the one that makes me know that I'm in Barcelona, is the hanging hams, the embotidos, and the fuets. The cured ham, here known as jamón, is a local norm. They sell it pre-cut or packaged, or even better, with the foot and the gristles still attached. Here it is easier to see, recognize, and appreciate the animal before you eat it. Maybe it allows you more of a connection to your food. <laughs> in that same line of thought, let's go over to the fish aisle. Here, not only are there many kinds of fish I've never seen before, but they're also displayed as whole cuts of fish. They're not behind glass and are ready and accessible for the viewer. You can even check out the teeth on some of these suckers. Everything is super fresh. They will cut and fillet what you need on the block right there for you to easily see. They're transparent about their product because there's nothing to hide. Same with the chicken. Instead of having a bunch of chicken for sale, already skinned or cut into breasts and thighs, you pick out the chicken that you want, and they will take the whole chicken, turkey, or even rabbit, whatever you want for the day, and cut out a piece for you right there. If you want the whole chicken and you want it cut, you end up from all the parts from that same chicken. I know it seems logical, because it's not the norm in the States, but it's more of a mix and match occasion there. They will also give you the head, which is always attached, because you chickens have heads, unlike in the States. There's also an enormous variety of food, not just traditional products, and you can get food from all over the world here. The progressive increase of immigrants has brought to Barcelona many different kinds of culinary traditions. Now you can find products from South America, Asia, and other European countries, and even try out new fusion cooking. One more cool thing before you leave the market is buying eggs in flats, of 24 eggs or more. You can bring your own smaller carton to put them in though if you want. And like in South America and many other places in the world, the eggs are not refrigerated before you buy them. They're fresh enough and produced close enough that refrigeration is not necessary. What a concept.